everyone, this is Zekalpna here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx equals to minus x plus y cos x by 1 plus sin x. Okay. So, here we don't have minus beside x, right? We have minus exactly at the center. So, it is considered as minus of x plus y cos x. Right? Solution. Given differential equation, dy by dx equals to minus x plus y cos x by 1 plus sin x. Consider the given equation as equation number 1, then dy by dx equals to, here we are going to reduce the given equation to Standard form of linear equation form. Okay, fine. So here consider 1 plus sin x as one term. Then we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split this into two terms. Then we'll get minus of x by 1 plus sin x plus y cos x by 1 plus sin x. Right. Then, dy by dx equals to minus x by 1 plus sin x minus into plus minus y cos x by 1 plus sin x. Fine. We know that the standard form of Linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals 2 q. So we have the term involving y in LHS, right? So what we'll do is we'll take this term which involves y to LHS. We'll just bring this term to LHS. Then we'll get dy by dx minus y cos x by 1 plus sin x becomes plus y cos x by 1 plus sin x equals to minus x by 1 plus sin x. Or you can write this as dy by dx plus functions of x into y that is cos x by 1 plus sin x into y equals to minus x by 1 plus sin x y right? which is linear in y right see the coefficient of dy by dx is 1 plus p into y equals to q Simply by comparing these two, we we'll get P and Q. Where P equals to cos x by 1 plus sin x and Q equals to minus x by 1 plus sin x. Right. So here P and Q are the functions of x. Right? It does not involve any y, right? Only x we have. So here P and Q are the functions of x. Now, we need to find the integration factor. Sorry, the integrating factor if we know that the integrating factor of linear equation in y is given by e power integral pdx. So using e power integral pdx, we find the integrating factor to the given equation.
so this is equals to e power integral for p equals to cos x by 1 plus sin x into dx. Let's evaluate the integral. Integral cos x by 1 plus sin x into dx. We know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x, right? Let f of x equals to 1 plus sin x. Then what will be f dash of x? Derivative of f of x is derivative of 1 with respect to x is 0 plus derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. That is f dash of x equals to cos x. So we have integral f dash of x that is integral cos x by f of x that is 1 plus sin x into dx equals to log mod f of x. Right? So we can apply this formula then we get log mod f of x for f of x equals to 1 plus sin x, right? Here we have integral cos x which is our f dash of x by 1 plus sin x which is our f of x that is integral f dash of x by f of x into dx. So from this formula we got log mod 1 plus sin x. We can just write this as log 1 plus sin x. So coming to the integrating factor, we'll get e power. Integral cos x by 1 plus sin x into dx is log 1 plus sin x. Also, we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x. Then we'll get e power log function of x equals to function of x. So therefore, our integrating factor is One plus sine x, right? Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in y, that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Right? By using this formula, we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y into integrating factor 1 plus sin x equals to integral q for q equals to minus x by 1 plus sin x into integrating factor 1 plus sin x into dx plus c you can write this as minus x into 1 plus sin x by 1 plus sin x we'll just consider 1 plus sin x as one term okay then it will be easy so now cancel 1 plus sin x. Now we have y times 1 plus sin x equals to integral minus x dx plus c. Right? Minus x into dx plus c. Now take the minus outside the integral, you'll get minus integral x into dx plus c. We know that integral x dx is x squared by 2. Therefore, y times 1 plus sin x equals to minus x squared by 2 plus c is the required general solution. is a problem. We have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.